All right, now this is a situation that I didn't think was gonna happen as quickly as it does. Around summer 2022, I decided to take YouTube a little bit seriously. Also because Mark Bone looked at my channel and just roasted the entire thing. I made a bunch of changes. I even changed where I lived in order to support having a YouTube channel and pursue filmmaking at the same time and to give myself the lifestyle that I wanted but still able to make some content. And at the time, I was just kind of hoping long-term that at some point it would be somewhat successful. But a year and a half later, we are now at 30,000 subscribers. So today's video is not only a thank you to you guys, but some things that worked for me, some things I might not do again, and some things that are probably gonna change in the future. I probably should change the angle for this camera, but we're just gonna keep it right here. Now, some of the things that worked for me was I wanted to address the problems that a lot of people ended up watching some of the launch videos, the embargo reviews, and when a certain thing came out, they almost never heard about that thing ever again. Now, personally for me, I did the same thing. When the FX6 and the FX30 came out, I saw all the videos for them, and then once I wanted to know more information after purchasing this item, there wasn't a lot of support there. So instead of complaining about it, I decided to be the change that I wanted to see. Now, I wanted to split this into a couple of different arcs because it's not just about the gear, it's also how you use it. It's also learning how to be a creative filmmaker or in video production, whatever you want to call yourself. That's why you're going to get some videos that are behind the scenes or some videos that's lighting or some videos that are going to be how to rig out your camera. And I try to make as many of those in different categories as possible. And it seems like you guys do like them a lot. So those things work for me. If you're someone that wants to start a channel, not only think about one of the items that might be interest of you, but also the type of person that might be interested in it and make videos for a type of person rather than a type of thing. One of the things I'm super proud of is that when I moved, I did pretty much everything out of, well, this living room. This is a shared house. I live with my brother and I only really have the space of the living room window, a desk, and as you can see, there's a mirror right here and the bathroom door is on my left. There's not a lot of space to be able to run this channel, but if I could take anything to tell people that might limit themselves into making a channel based on their space, it's that just start. You need some sort of light, you need some good audio, you need a decent lens to record you while you're actually talking and giving information, and somewhere down the line, it's going to evolve into something else. And that's exactly what happened to me, and it definitely could happen to you as well. Some of the arcs I wanted to get into, and I feel like I've been neglecting a little bit, is I haven't necessarily shown too much of the behind the scenes of larger projects. I'll admit it, because YouTube has become such a big part of my freelance career, a lot of jobs I don't take on because some of those partnerships are actually more lucrative than the jobs I would have taken on. On. But then at the same time, I could hold out for some of the stuff I really want to do. And honestly, there's a weird situation now where some of these brand partnerships are paying me to do spec projects. And I kind of actually enjoy doing that instead because I get a better result than trying to hit up different clients in order to do that. I don't know about you guys, but freelance was just a means to an end. I didn't necessarily want to be a freelancer for the rest of my life. And I felt a little bit uncomfortable trying to teach the freelance rat race because not everybody wants that to be their end goal. Some people are using it as a means to an end, just like I am, where now I technically get financially supported to shoot whatever I want. Another thing you might notice on here is that we're actually diving into different camera systems. I still do like teaching the technical side of things and maybe sometimes I like applying some of my filmmaking techniques to different camera systems and I'm gonna keep on doing that. I think there's more people out there than Sony FX3 and FX30 users, although I'm not gonna neglect you guys, you still have a bunch of videos coming out. I do think there are other people and other systems that also want that information as well, which is great for me because personally, I like applying my style of filmmaking. I like applying the way that I do things to other systems because I'm a little bit more home with myself and I like to apply that to different things to see if I could actually even pull it off. And then I share that back to you guys and some of you guys have some knowledge from that. I also wanna do a lot more collaborations. It's kind of weird that we talk about the filmmaking community but no one ever works with each other and at most, most people don't even talk to each other on a regular basis. You're going to start to see a lot more people on this channel whether they're on YouTube or not. You're gonna see more filmmakers, more people involved in the process and a variety of different videos so you have a full rounded experience at least from my perspective and some of the people that I might bring on. Now you are gonna see more things like brand deals and sponsors Sponsorship. At the end of the day, I'm an adult and I get the ability to choose what I take on or what I decide not to take on. And hopefully I take on the things that would help you guys, but also things that will help support this channel because I still need to generate an income in order to keep making content for the majority of you guys to enjoy for free. One thing that's also going to happen somewhere later in like the very near future is that we're going to start having courses and mentoring. It's been asked quite a bit in terms of different things and where people want to go with their careers, or maybe they just want to pick my brain about certain things. I'm going to start to look at different platforms to be able to 
would do that, which might actually, ironically enough, have a sponsor that's going to be able to help you guys with that in the near future. Now, for the most part, I think I've been able to do like a half decent job with this whole YouTube channel, growing it from just under 2,000 subscribers in 2022 to 30,000 now, I think speaks for something, I guess. But one thing that I'm going to stop doing is trying to think that I'm an expert and that I know everything. I think a lot of people, when they start making filmmaking channels or cinematography channels, have to present themselves as being the expert in the room. I'm kind of here to say that you can be very human and you can also make mistakes and document those mistakes so other people don't do the same thing. I played a lot of football when I was in university and one thing that we did even in practice is that we watched over our game film. We saw the bad habits, we saw the mistakes, and we were able to talk about them in an open space to make sure that we got better and didn't make those same mistakes again. I feel a little bit like in sometimes the filmmaking community in regards to YouTube, everybody kind of feels this pressure that they have to be absolutely right and technically sound about absolutely anything or they lose that credibility. The thing I'm gonna tell you here, and if you haven't noticed, I screw up quite a bit. I'm not perfect, I make mistakes, but I'm also able to talk about those mistakes so you don't do the same thing. Even if some people might perceive that as me being a not a professional and therefore shouldn't be trusted, I think it's way easier to listen to somebody that's willing to be human rather than somebody that thinks they're a know-it-all because I don't know if anybody wants to hear from those guys anymore. That being said, I wanted to make a quick video. Your regular scheduled programming is probably gonna come out like tomorrow with an FX30 or FX3 video, but I wanted to also say thank you for 30,000 subscribers. I didn't think this was gonna happen, at least this quickly. I'm grateful for every single one of them and the growth has kind of just been skyrocketing for the last little bit and I have no complaints and I want it to keep going. But that being said, this video probably isn't the best algorithm video in the world. So if you want to send a like or subscribe if you watch this for the first time, you can click one down below and that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.